Hi, this is for my little brother. I hope this helps you and I hope you enjoy it. Let's come to our mats, start in an easy seat. Close your eyes, place the palms on your knees, hands facing down, and just start to become aware of your body and your breath. Start to take long, deep inhales through your nose and then long exhales also through the nose. Continuing to become aware of your body as you sit, arrive here in this space, forget about the things that have already happened. Don't worry about the things that are yet to happen. Let's just be here in this space together. Go ahead and lie down on your back. We'll place the right hand on our bellies, the left hand on the heart, and you can lie with your feet, the soles of your feet pressed together or your feet out long, whatever feels most comfortable to you. If your feet are pressed together, try to remove a little bit of the space in your low back and continue to breathe. Close the eyes, long inhales, long exhales. And as we arrive here together, let's take a sigh together. Inhale, open the mouth. <sighs> Go ahead and flicker your eyes open. Stretch the legs out long. Bring your arms up above and do a stretch as if you're waking up coming out of bed. And then bring your knees into your chest. Holding on to the knees. And then let's go ahead and start to rock. Holding on to the fronts of the knees, rocking forward and backward, curving your spine like, like a rocking chair. On the next one, let's come up into tabletop. From here, keep your knees about hip width apart beneath your hips. Same with your hands, fingertips spread wide, hands below the shoulders, shoulder width apart. Your pointer fingers should be pointing towards the top of the mat. Now let's start to move through some cat-cow. So on the inhale, drop your belly, lift the head. And on the exhale, arch your back like a cat and drop your head. Inhale for cow. Exhale, cat. Continue moving through cat-cow, moving with your breath, sinking your breath with your body movements. And add any movement, organic movement, that feels right in your body today. Nice, now return to a neutral spine. Let's inhale the right arm up high. On the exhale, bring it through. We're threading the needle through the other hand, dropping the shoulder to the ground, and bring the head gently down to the ground as well. You can bring your left hand out in front on your fingertips, or for an added shoulder stretch, you can reach around the back for the right thigh with the left hand and breathe. Nice, now inhale and come back up. Exhale, we'll switch to the other side. Inhale the left arm up high and exhale, thread the needle. Coming down onto that left shoulder, bringing the right fingertips out in front or around the back for an extra shoulder stretch. And breathe.
Nice. And inhale, come back to center. From here, we're back in a tabletop neutral spine position. Curl your toes under and start to send your hips up and back, keeping the knees bent here until you get your spine in line with your arms. So you have a straight spine coming down through your head at an angle with your arms. And now you can start to drop one foot, one heel, and then the other, pedaling out, stretching. Be gentle with your body. Recognize that it's different every day and that all bodies are different from each other. Nice. Now you can inhale and come up onto the balls of the, t the feet and tiptoe all the way up to the top of your mat. Drop your heels hip distance apart and hold on to the elbows. Let's start to sway back and forth gently. We can drop the fingertips to the mat and slowly roll up, coming all the way up to standing. We'll stand in Tadasana. The big toes will be touching, the heels will be slightly apart. Kneecaps are lifted, tailbone is slightly tucked, belly's up and in, palms facing the front. Close your eyes, stand tall. You are strong, you are a mountain. Good. Now open your eyes. Inhale, bring the arms up above the head. Palms come together. Hips move forward. And exhale, forward fold. On the inhale, rise up halfway. Hands can come to the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way back up. Palms come together. Hands come to heart center. Hands by your sides. Now we'll step the feet about hip distance apart here. And we'll take the hands and bind them behind the back, pressing the palms together. If you can press the palms together, maybe try straightening your arms, keeping those palms pressed together. On the inhale, look up, chest up. Exhale, forward fold. And maybe you can lift the bind. Nice, inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the bind, step the feet together. Inhale, arms up above the head. Palms come together, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant the hands, step back into plank position. Now lower, almost down to the ground, but just at the bottom of a push-up. And then inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale the right leg up high. Exhale, step it through between the hands. Now turn your left foot out 45 degrees. And then on the inhale, rise up. Warrior one. Nice. Keep breathing. Inhale. On the exhale, straighten your front leg, bring the arms down, and hold on to both elbows. Later on, you might be able to put the hands into prayer position. For now, we're gonna hold the elbows. This is pyramid pose. On the inhale, chest up, look up, holding the elbows. Exhale, bring the chest and the chin forward as you move down. And breathe. Nice inhale and come up. Release the hands to the sky, coming back into warrior one. Inhale, look up. 
Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat. Right foot back to meet the left. Lower bottom of a push-up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Nice left side. Inhale, the left leg up high. Exhale, step it through between the hands, turning the right foot out 45. And on the inhale, rise up. And breathe. Nice work. Now straightening that front leg, dropping the hands, binding by grabbing each elbow. Inhale, look up. And exhale, fold as you lean forward over your front left leg. Keeping your belly up and in. And breathe. Nice. Now inhale and come back up. Release the arms as you bend the left knee, coming back to warrior one. And exhale, vinyasa, bring the hands to the mat. Left foot back to meet the right, lower bottom of a push-up. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. And we'll take three breaths here. Try to bring the heels toward the mat, but if they don't get there just yet, don't worry about it. If your legs are bent, that's okay too. Just keep sending those hips up and back towards the upper corner of the room. And three. On your next exhale, look forward. Step to the top of the mat. Feet are together. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, rise all the way up. And on the exhale, hands come to heart center, hands by your side. Let's take a quick standing pose before we get down on the mat. Take your right foot either on the inside of your thigh or below your knee. We just don't want to put it on the knee. So let's try putting it on the inside of the thigh. Press into the thigh and press the thigh into the foot. Hands can come to heart center. Maybe if that's not a challenge, challenge yourself by growing your tree. If you need a little more challenge, try looking up. Very good. Now bring the right leg out in front. Inhale and exhale, release. Hands come to heart center. Left side, bring the left foot to the inside of the right thigh. Hands come to heart center. Again, let's challenge ourselves by growing our tree. Add more challenge by looking up. Some people say it's even more challenging if you lift the corners of your mouth. <laughs> nice inhale, release the left foot out in front and exhale, release. Now let's come down onto our bellies on our mat. We'll keep the feet together, toes pointed, tops of the feet on the mat. And again, we're going to bind behind the back. This is bound locust pose, bound salambasana. On the inhale, we just want to lift the chest and lift the bind. Inhale. Exhale, release, but keep the bind. On the inhale again, lift the chest, lift the bind. Exhale and release. Nice. You can place your palms facing upward, arms lying next to you. Turn the chin to one side and take a break. And let's meet up in downward dog. This time we're going to lift the right leg up high. And then on the exhale, bring the right knee to the right wrist and drop the leg. Now we're going to uncurl the left toes and slide back on the mat. 
until we're sitting on our hips here. Now on the inhale, hands on either side of your hips. Inhale, chest up, look up. Exhale, forward fold over this front leg. The goal is to have your forehead on the mat. If that's not accessible, you can bring your forehead to your stacked hands or to stacked fists. If you are on the mat, you can try maybe prayer position with your hands above your head. Once you find your expression, let's stay still. Keep the only thing moving will be your breath. And breathe. On the inhale, come back up onto our fingertips. And then let's get back into downward dog, curling the left toes under, bringing the right foot back. Maybe pedal out right and left. And now inhale, left foot up high. Left knee comes to the left wrist. And we uncurl our right toes and slide back until we're sitting on our hips. Inhale. Look up, chest up, exhale, fold. Same thing as the other side, whatever worked for you there. Just find your expression and then remain still. Nice, let's come back up on the inhale. We're on our fingertips. Now gently roll off to the left side, bringing the right leg around in front. We'll take Pachimottanasana. Uh, remove a little bit of the flesh from the bum. Legs are out straight. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, fold. Inhale and come back up. Let's scoot down, lie down on your mat. Bring your feet up towards your bum. You can kind of tickle your ankles. And on the inhale, it's bridge pose. Bring the hips up and now take the hands and bind them underneath the back and press the pinkies into the mat. Stay active, keep pressing upward with your hips. Pressing into the mat with your pinkies. Staying active, inhale and exhale, release. Now we'll reset our lower spine, bring the knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug. <laughs> and now we'll take happy baby. Hold on to the outside edges of your feet and gently pull your feet down. As you do, Try to send some focus to your lower back. There's maybe a gap between your back and the mat. See if you can remove that gap. Nice. Now allow your left leg to land long, holding onto the front of your right knee with both hands. Pull your knee into your armpit. Now take your left hand and pull your right knee across your body, allowing your right hand to go out long 
wide, pulling as far as is comfortable for you. Keep that right shoulder grounded, magnetized to the earth. And take your gaze to the right. Inhale back up to center and switch. Bring the left knee in. Pull it in tight into your armpit with both hands. And now we'll take the right hand, pulling the left knee across the body. Left arm goes out wide. Left shoulder grounded, taking the gaze to the left. Nice. Bring the leg back up to center and allow both legs to land long. Let's take our hands, palms facing upward, arms along the side body or out wide, whatever feels comfortable to you. Close your eyes, get comfortable. Let's take a sigh together on the inhale. Open the mouth. <sighs> mm, Shavasana, we made it. You can start to come back from wherever you've been, gently wiggling your toes, wiggling your fingers, maybe taking a stretch. Mm. And then let's roll off onto one side. When you feel ready, go ahead and come up into an easy seat. This time, Let's place our palms facing upward, straight back, slight tuck of the chin, long neck, long spine. Close your eyes and just take a moment and observe you just a few minutes later. Nice work. Take hands to heart center. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. It's an honor and a pleasure to share yoga with you. The divine light within me honors and recognizes the divine light within you. Namaste.